Yes, uh, very good morning dear students. Uh, welcome back to online physics class grade 10. So today, uh, as I told before, my Monday and Wednesday classes I will take foundation. And uh, don't forget you have to prepare for PT2 exam. Already I declared the syllabus of PT2 is light chapter and electricity chapter. So I told uh, what are the percentage of questions? Uh, how much percentage of questions I give? Uh, I want to give. I will give from this slide. And how many? Uh, percent, uh, how much percentage of questions I will give from this electricity? I already told to you. Right. Uh, I, I hope it, uh, this foundation, the syllabus is also going on uh, light chapter only. And I think this Saturday you have light, uh, exam is there on this foundation. The syllabus is like uh, the syllabus is light chapter only right uh, the syllabus is up to uh, before refraction right before refraction means here uh, uh, in cvs just we give, uh, we given only formulas uh, for mirror formula for what is the relation between focal length and radius so here we can do uh, derivations the different 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 problems and a concave mirror and convex mirror on that different uh, problems and about magnification <coughs> it is all these concepts uh, in this week i am going to discuss with you dear students see so already we completed successfully uh, a play about uh, plane mirrors right and a uh, different different conclusions right uh, effect of rotation mirror on a reflector light ray right to see full uh, image of the observer what is the minimum length it should be minimum length of plane mirror should be and uh, different problems on uh, glancing angle and angle of deviation so that i already discussed uh, before the uh, foundation class today just i'm going to uh, discuss with you about concave and convex mirror introduction so we know first i want to discuss with you spherical mirrors what do you mean by spherical mirrors spherical mirrors spherical mirrors so all reflecting surface or curved reflecting surface curved reflecting surfaces are called curved reflecting surfaces are called curved reflecting surfaces are called are called spherical mirrors are called spherical mirrors So generally we know very well spherical mirrors are classified into two types spherical mirrors are classified into spherical mirrors are classified into two types classified into two types so one is concave mirror and another one is Convex mirror. Already I briefly discussed this in CBS itself. Again, I discussed in foundation. It may helpful for uh, CBS also this chapter. So first one is concave mirror. What do you mean by concave mirror? Concave mirror. A spherical mirror. A spherical mirror. Spherical mirror. Whose reflecting surface whose reflecting whose reflecting surface is inside whose reflecting surface is inside surface is inside or inward inward those spherical mirror is called those spherical mirror is called spherical mirror is called is called concave mirror concave mirror next is convex mirror A spherical mirror, a spherical mirror whose outer surface, outer surface is, 
outer surface is the reflecting surface outer surface is the reflecting surface is called surface is called convex mirror convex mirror next one is how how we can draw uh, schematically this concave and convex mirror actually to draw concave and convex mirror first we can take a hollow sphere understand a hollow sphere we can take a hollow sphere understand so for, for example i am drawing one a straight line for this in middle of the point for uh, this hollow sphere right so for example here you can cut this hollow sphere off of the part so then it becomes like this right so for uh, outside for this surface you can uh, make a line with this then it becomes a like a, a silver surface for outside surface for inside surface we can choose it is a reflecting surface so it is about a concave mirror a spherical mirror whose reflecting surface is inward or inside those spherical mirror is called concave mirror concave mirror and from from this now we can take this one right so now from this so now you can take this one right so now this inward it is a silver uh, silver surface up then outside surface is a polished surface or reflecting surface right so then it is a convex mirror convex mirror this is a representation of concave and convex mirror right yes next i am going to discuss with you terminologies terminologies related to the related to the spherical mirrors terminologies related to the spherical mirrors first one is pole right the midpoint of the spherical mirror the midpoint of the spherical mirror the midpoint of the spherical mirror is called the midpoint of the spherical mirror is called is called pole of the spherical mirror is called pole of the spherical mirror or it is a center point it is the center point of aperture of a spherical mirror center point of aperture of spherical mirror so what do you mean by aperture means that i will discuss till later right yes next one is a um, uh, it is for example if you take a uh, it is a spherical mirror for example it is a concave mirror convex concave mirror Why? because spherical mirror whose reflecting surface is inside so it is the midpoint of the spherical mirror or center point of the aperture of the spherical mirror. it is actually the uh, it is the diameter of the spherical mirror we call it is aperture of the spherical mirror for this it is a, a center point of the aperture of the spherical mirror also or else we can it is actually it is this is this is a uh, uh, aperture here we are not, not we are ne neglected this so for that only just i am taking like this right because it is visible to uh, see this is a dotted line so the, uh, this uh, dotted lines represent on this uh, a mirror itself that only we call aperture or diameter of the spherical mirror so the center uh, point of a aperture of a spherical mirror is also called Pole. so obviously it is actually the midpoint of spherical mirror is called pole of the spherical mirror so next one is a center of curvature next one is what center of curvature 
it is a geometric center of geometric center of hollow sphere from which mirror is cutting from which mirror is cut which mirror is cut for example if you take a it is a hollow sphere right just i am taking one line on this so for example here you can cut this mirror right then it will be behave like this so then it is a, a center of the spherical mirror it is a pole in between what focus that i will discuss later what is that the midpoint of the pole of the spherical mirror and the center of curvature of the uh, spherical mirror we call focus of the spherical mirror so that i will discuss later 